Hey everybody, this is your Relentless Realtor, Ron, coming to you from Boca Raton, South Florida, from Team Relentless, and this is... Adam Stein, Team Extraordinary, Century 21 Stein Posner. And we just want to wish everybody a happy holiday, a healthy holiday. Hope everybody's enjoying their families and want everybody just to be safe. Enjoy your holidays. We love you. We're coming to you today. We want to give you an update. We just got our new update for November. We want to give you a trending update on our market and what's happening here. Adam, let's yeah. start in Palm Beach County. So in Palm Beach County, what we're seeing are the trends. We're going to study today three numbers, closings, median sale price, and new listings, which is an indication of activity in the market. Right. In Palm Beach County, what we're seeing generally month over month and year over year, we're flat to down on our closings. What about in Broward, Ron? In, in Broward County, it's pretty much the same thing. We're, pretty, we're up a little bit from September, October, but from October, November down, but it was pretty much where it should be. Yeah, generally what we see is as we move into November, right, we start to get into the holiday time. So we just see closings kind of taper off. What's interesting is that our market in our office, December is one of our best months ever, which means that our Century 21 dedicated professionals are out on the street helping you, our customers, buy and sell real estate this month. What about price, Ryan? So for median prices in Broward County for single families in September was at $367,500. That was up 5%. In October, it went down a little bit to 362. And then November, it spiked up to 375,000, which again, is just kind of normal for our time of the year and what's happening. And what does that look like from a year over year percentage perspective and how about the range? Year over year, it was basically from two to 5% and it's gone up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, in Palm Beach County, the median single family home price in September was up 3% to 355 year over year. 359, in October, 3% year over year, but was actually down in November to 350, which was flat year over year. So we see a range from 350 to $359,000 for a median single family home price point in Palm Beach County. So Broward's a little bit more expensive, Ronnie, why? Yeah, Broward County, we're basically, it's a basic economics, it's supply and demand. We have more population and a smaller geographic footprint. So it's just, again, supply and demand, yeah. but that's causing those prices More to people, less inventory, prices are higher than that in Palm Beach County, which is gonna be a larger geographic region with less people. Right, All right, right. And then new listings, what are we seeing overall? New, basically down overall. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's to give you stats or anything like that, it's just basically down overall for the most part. Same we're seeing in, in Palm County. Beach County, uh, down overall. So basically what this means is that we're seeing a shift into a seller's market. Prices are up. Listings are down, which which is going to indicate for a seller's market. Yeah. It'll be curious to see what happens in 2020 as we move into an election year. On the flip side, interest rates are still very, very low. So it's a great time for a buyer to still capture the flag on the buyer's side. So um, here's the one thing that I think is most important is that the uh, month supply of inventory, the benchmark is about 5.5 months for a healthy, balanced market. Here in South Florida, we've been hovering in the four to four and a half month range, right. which means that we're really at a healthy pace. New homes are coming on and selling uh, very quickly here in our market. Absolutely. So what's it all mean? It just means that we're here to help you whenever you're ready. Our professionals are trained and ready to go, and we basically want to deliver the best experience we can for everybody out there. Absolutely. So listen, have a great end of the year. Enjoy your holidays. We'll be talking to you again in the new year. Peace, love, and happiness, everybody.